This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed embedded therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable. No waiting rooms, no traffic. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. RuPaul that on does a Drag not Race UK. get old. I love when RuPaul walks up to them and it's like... Three things she says. Well, you're supposed to say like, so, you really been front of struggle in the competition. Yeah. If it's UK, RuPaul mm. walks up and goes like... Um, I don't, like he, like <laughs> please, sir. I want some more. He does the Oliver Twist. Yeah, hello, Governor. Or um, what's the other one? Get All right, power. Bye, bye. <laughs> Spice Girls. He does like a sporty. Sp- by the way, the craziest thing happens today. You know, I'm a little bit psychic. Yeah, I today was at the gym where you were. Yeah, I was working out. Like I was working out a little bit harder than you, <laughs> just like a little bit stronger in my upper body because of all the golf thing in Mar-a-Lago. But <laughs> the golf thing in Mar-a-Lago. I I was I said I'm gonna text Mel B. I texted Mel B. Mm-hmm. And then I look up. And the Spice Girls were on the TV. A second later, and then I had another psychic episode two days ago. Somebody who works on this tour, okay. I won't say his name okay. because I don't know it. <laughs> but he's been on tour with us for a year. For a year. Not clear on what he does, guy. who he Unclear. is <laughs> at all. Could have any color hair, yes. maybe no hair. Yeah. Could be gay. He gets on the elevator, and I already have my button pushed. Okay. He gets on, I'm on six, I think. Okay. I push four. He goes, How'd you know it was my room was four? I said, I'm telling you, I have these psychic flashes and I just knew your room was four. Your floor was four. <laughs> Wait, but you did it unconsciously. I hadn't spoken to him or anything. He got on, I just pushed four. Like a bellhop. You're yes, like, you but should... he didn't tell me what floor he was on. Mom, you got the gift. You got the gift. The house in Virginia. Bones and all. HIV. <laughs> bones and all, honey. <laughs> you got bones the gift. And, bones and all cannibalism. So when, well, you don't have to start eating people yet, but when are you going to open well, a little psychic shop? I'm not going to eat anybody, but I am going to DM them about it. <laughs> you should open a little psychic shop. The problem is it's unpredicted. It's, 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 oh, I, I don't know how to go. you can't control it. So if you ask me, what are the lotto numbers? I don't know. No, 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 no. We're not doing lotto numbers. Like, um, okay, so it just strikes when, but for I, no reason at any time. Yes. It's like walking through the, walking through the world. And then I'm like, oh, have you talked to your mom today? Mm, They're like, no. And I was dead. like, I think you should talk to her. All right. I just think you should talk. It's, it's okay. unwarranted. Yeah. Unprecedented. And unreliable and unmonetizable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's how you know it's the real gift. Yeah. So what if I set up a little table on Hollywood Boulevard and people come for readings and I go, well, how much time do you have? Because it could be days. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, be like, I have the gift, so we just have to kill time until the real thing comes in. But I will definitely improvise in yes. the meantime. You know. Um, do you know what else is on. the gift? What's the gift? Gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> as much as Wimberly. Oh! Sometimes, no, it's true. So, what, it's the, true. The thing is, it's sometimes true. the last thing I want to hear Mama. on this tour is the somebody, G word. somebody, the G word, gorgeous, yeah. stunning, like Wimberly going gratitude. But you know what? <sighs> no, it's true. She's right, Mama. She's right. She's right. So I told you about the the um the the trans woman who was exiled from Jocks right across the street. She would yip and yap uh, certain things that uh she would yell platitudes platitudes like if you were trying to so it's a long story platitude so platitude is like a empty um like a phrase or a saying that has kind of like no meaning in a way so like people were like you know you're better than this emily you're better than this because she's harassing them Mm. she would go platitudes plat and so that's what i hear in my head whenever i hear gratitude you hear platitude which is which is the opposite, the opposite almost <laughs> not like it's totally it's sort of like nothing you're saying is matters nothing you're saying matters and it, it's all meaningless and i have this voice of this woman in my head and it is so haunting but she also yells leave erickson and just any other like <laughs> because the, the doorman is sure Swedish. this woman wasn't <laughs> it was see, me. she wanders <laughs> the streets and yells words well blonde hmm. thin very striking pale face, um, changes into khaki pants in behind cars. <laughs> it's very, very, she, you know, she could have a whole lifetime series. Anyways, gratitude. Gratitude. Hey, you know what? I, I was thinking about this today because I was thinking, um, how can I have all my dreams come true and then sometimes feel the need to complain about it? Mm-hmm. Do you know what it is? What? It's rubbing the skin off as performers. Rubbing the skin off. Performing is yeah. an ejaculation. There's cum everywhere. Oh, wow. Ropes. Oh. Ropes of milky load. <laughs> that expression has always ropes. It's problematic. my stomach. Yeah, it's a nerve a rope. solid as a liquid. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's, it's ropes Ropey. of cum. Ropey. 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 
Ropey. Ropey. Don't, we're not doing ropey. We're not doing ropes. <laughs> we're not doing ropes. I want my I want my cum clear like water or blood. Um, yeah. <laughs> One or the other. Don't give me ropes. Not a don't healthy give me white day. load. <laughs> I don't want white ropes. I want clear ooze or red red blood or grape Black jelly. Black shoes, white <laughs> ropes, <laughs> red blood, clear <laughs> cum. Shouldn't be allowed in the theater. <laughs> But the but if you if you jerk off too much, you rub the skin off. Yes, of course. And when you I tour and you perform like this, you, oh, I see you, what you're saying. Okay, you, it's a metaphor. Okay, I've been watching Breaking Bad, okay. and I was researching Ouch. what happens to the brain uh-huh. when you're. I mean, this is new information to me, but what happens <laughs> to the brain when you like bombard it with these dopamine rushes? Oh, it's and how the n- chase is futile because mm. your brain is so exhausted. Yeah your brain's not going to do the same release again. Right. And so when you perform this many days in a row, mm. even though gun to your head, you love it. It's not the same as if you do maybe one show a week where it's this, it's like, it's like, this is my eight day load. Oh Lord. Yeah. This I mean? is my eighth day rope. Your, your jizz is going to feel better. Your, yeah. your comb, your comb, your comb is going to feel better if you haven't done it in days. But right. if you're jerking off five times a day, you're blowing not, sawdust out there. That's what I mean. You're, you're blowing sawdust you're throwing, out there. You're throwing lemon. You're, what, you're throwing grape boots. You're scraping up ropes and, and th- uh, uh, throwing them out there. I understand what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? I completely agree. If we were doing this show one day a week, we would go out there like, this is the moment. How about this? But when it's six days a Once week. Once a month. There you go. 12 good times the year. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come up and not see me sometime? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get tickets? Mm, yeah. No Better luck could. next year. <laughs> no, we do it. We do it. Uh, 15,000 seat arena. Yeah. Once a month. Two weeks of rehearsal. It's a lot of rehearsal. A lot of rehearsal. And then one week of decompression afterwards where we do um, songs and share. <laughs> and by decompression, it's, it's like, like a, uh, a weighted blanket therapy. Oh, absolutely. Because like you said, because there's only one, you know, with Peaches Christ always talks about the post-show blues. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mama, I don't get those blues with this show. I get the post-show. Hey, hey. You know? <laughs> but like, but you're that's like, for real. When you like, do you like need a, money? Now's a good time to yeah. ask. <laughs> Woo. Coming out from um, Chicago, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you need anything? You got 12 minutes to get it. <laughs> the way no, I dance true. during the last number of the show, when it's, we have like two days off. Oh, with the smile. I'm like, the smile. Ch-cha. It's the Ch-cha. smile. I'm like, because sometimes I'm kind of like, uh-huh, you know, but I, two days off, I'm like, <laughs> I know. It's terrible. But uh, but I've been trying to think about it because I'm like, performing is magical. I love doing the show. But when you yeah, do yeah, it this yeah. often, it's impossible to <sighs> feel like every moment is the height of magic. You know? Yeah, of course, of course. And also, Christmas comes once a year. Once a year. Santa um, uh, climbs up on that chimney. What would the Who's do if in Whoville it was Christmas every day? Oh, they would probably, yeah, they're probably, oh, God. Martha May Who would look ragged. Yeah, yeah, ragged, ragged. Um, Well, listen to this. So, Think back like um, your be- you know, your favorite shows or whatever you wanted to see as like a youngster growing up and now put into your head the fact that your favorite performer or band or whatever probably experienced a version of this, of uh, the show you saw where like, <sighs> I love you. I wish I could be here all night. And then they turn around. Let's get out of here. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like yes. that is unthinkable to me because it was like for me, it's magic. There's like everybody was there doing their best and being like incredible, like, you know, Cirque du Soleil or whatever. Those contortionists were probably like, oh, God, I can't wait to go home and like, uh-huh. you know, jerk off or like, I can't wait to go home and watch, you know, Family Guy or whatever. And it's not magic for them. Yeah. That's so terrible. But it's honestly a lesson in like, you want to make more money, wear a suit. Like, do you want to make a little less money mm. and enjoy it more? Because yes. there's also a version of that. You, yes. you are you're self-employed as a performer. Yeah. And I think that's why like the B-52s, for example, they just, in, well, they're, they're grifters and liars. And I'll say this on the air live on the air. Oh. They said that this is their farewell oh, tour. And, doing and I was finagling with our previous tour manager, Bales. Which one? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, there's Ever, so many previous tour yeah, managers. Yeah, our tour managers are here for a good time, not a not long a time. Not a long time, or yeah. not a long, not a leg anyways. <laughs> you know who we need? Gus Spring. Who's that? That guy from Breaking Bad. Oh, oh, Gustavo. Oh, from Poiros Hermanos. The, oh my God, the, the chicken guy? Yes. Oh, the chicken manager? He would get all those motherfuckers right together. Together. <laughs> oh, you don't like that? Box cutter. Yeah. The two twins will come. Honey, yeah. with the axe. Mm-hmm. Th- they were hot. They, I would let them cut me up. I I wouldn't say I've been learning Spanish, but I've been lock, watching Breaking Bad and saying back what they say in the okay. show. That's fair. Have you watched Better Call Saul? No, but I'm going to watch it next. You have to watch it because it's one of those rare rare instances where a spinoff is 
greater or uh, as good or better than the yeah. actual fucking show. I'm going to watch it because my brother, who's an attorney, says he loves it. And I feel like if lawyers like it, then it must be if lawyers like a show about a lawyer, then it probably is good. Yeah. Because yeah. it's always like a doctor watching House who's like, that would never happen. Right, right, right. Or you like Ally McBeal. Oh, God. That's yeah. so frustrating. What was she? W- women and men in the same bathroom. Wait, what is Ally McBeal? Ally McBeal was a, um, a show with Callista Flockhart. It took place in a law firm in Boston, but it was quirky. But she's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, They're people, all lawyers. People like it. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. But she probably inspired a lot of women to be lawyers. I think so. I think that she inspired a lot of people to use unisex bathrooms, too. That was the big sort of like set piece of the show. Do you think you would be a good lawyer? Absolutely not. I would not be. No, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Jason and I were talking about how in, or no, where does it mean you? I can't remember. Uh, how on, this, on a witness stand, I would just be like, would tell them whatever they want to hear. I would just be so like um, controllable and coercible. Um, I, I wouldn't. I'd be the worst witness. If You'd you be like, ever. where were you on the night of? Well, I was sitting um, home. I killed him. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, um, well, I killed him. I, I think. Um, do you want me to? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, like, would... This is a traffic yeah, citation yeah. court. Ma'am, we're just looking for a hit, uh, a little uh, ding on the side of a fender. I was like, okay. Well, like, I did do that, and I also killed the family. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. But I'll, I'll break oh, I'm yeah. learning a lot about law from Breaking Bad. Okay. like Such as? Well, I'm also learning Spanish, like I said. See? So, the other day I was watching, and the guy goes, Blood for blood, and I went sacre de sacre. So like I am catching on. It's my I mean, it's like, my uh, babble. Yes, it's and my much, Duolingo. It's gonna stick better too because you're gonna have all better. those like uh, terrifying, horrifying, like a uh, bloody um, you know associations with it. That's good. I love Spanish. Do you? I know. Why don't we know Spanish? I do, what uh, a waste! What a waste! It's so embarrassing. Do you know that if we it's were good at Spanish, if we knew what we knew about French? We could perform and travel to Spanish-speaking parts of the world and and be better. You know what I mean? Claro que sí. And Paris, they were so thrilled when we throw out little phrases. Sure. If we could do that in Spanish. Mama, like, we got Latin America. We yeah. got Central America. We got Southern United States. We got España. We've got plenty other places. I'm not saying French is useless, but like today. Mama, I, French is the UN. T- today I was watching, it was a, the, a leader in Senegal. There was a, a, a fist fight at like a UN meeting, of leaders of Senegal. Mama. Those French are out. They're ornery. They're they really out. are. <laughs> Senegal. Senegal. Le, have you? Wait, I'm going to go to Africa this year. Girl, we've got year. a journey à Afrique, bitch. Oui, je vais aller le faire. Um, but, uh, no, wait, it's back to Spanish. It's it's so shameful. It's And it's Living so in LA. beautiful. And where we live now, mm-hmm. I yeah. just, I feel, um, I honestly feel Excellent a music little too. embarrassed yeah. that I'm 33. Yeah. And if I had prioritized that language How younger. You gonna know, though? I don't know. How are you gonna know? How are you gonna know? We're all gonna be speaking German in a year. Yeah. We're pretty soon the world will be one giant uh uh arm of China. Oh my god. The can I just say it's the Christmas <laughs> episode, by the way. Oh it- <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, Merry Christmas, guys, and Happy Holidays to Happy you. Holidays. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I gotta um, tell you, mm. uh Vanity, she made a video the other day and mm. she said uh because her handle is wigs by vanity yeah. she said people dm her and they come up to her and say hi wigs you're my favorite drag queen wigs love you wigs wig first name wigs first Last name, name by wigs. vanity by vanity i think by is her middle name maybe <laughs> she's by that's crazy come to etsy for thoughtful holiday gifts for all the people in your life from friends to family, roommates to coworkers, you can find something special for everyone on your list on Etsy. Etsy has a wide range of extraordinary gifts, so you're sure to find the perfect presents this holiday season. You can shop Etsy for fashion, decor, personalized gifts, and so much more. When you shop on Etsy, you're shopping directly from makers, so every purchase supports a small business. I love Etsy, um, especially because I love jewelry that is one of a kind there's so many incredible jewelry makers on etsy you have no idea a lot of times with um jewelry in particular the drag stuff can get a little bit um i don't know boring you know you see the same stuff on everybody but etsy the people who sell on etsy have such a wide variety of really interesting unique affordable jewelry options i absolutely love it also bought a lovely pair of shoes there the other day 
They fit great and they were very cheap. New to Etsy? Use code MARY10, that's M E R R Y 10, at checkout for 10% off your first purchase. That's code MARY10. Maximum value of $50. Offer ends December 31st, 2022. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For gifts of all kinds, Etsy has it. Shop etsy.com. The struggles we face with our mental health can loom large over our lives. Maybe yours. Maybe someone you love. You've tried everything. Or have you? MindBloom is the solution for the next chapter in mental health and well-being. MindBloom is the leader in at-home ketamine therapy, offering a combination of science-backed medicine with clinician and guide support for people looking to improve their mental health and well-being. MindBloom connects patients to licensed psychiatric clinicians to help them achieve their outcomes with lower costs, greater convenience, and artfully crafted experience. To begin, take MindBloom's online assessment and schedule a video consult with a licensed clinician to determine if MindBloom is right for you. If approved, you'll discuss your health history and goals for mental health treatment with your clinician to tailor your MindBloom regimen. After only two sessions, 87% of MindBloom clients reported improvement in depression and 85% reported improvements in anxiety. Listen, I know for me, when it comes to feeling down or blue, it's not just my outlook. It's not just the weather. It's not just, you know, my favorite television show being canceled. It's a lot of things and you have to think of your mental health holistically. Think of solving your problems from every angle. It's time to enter the next chapter in the mental health and well-being. Let MindBloom guide you. Right now, MindBloom is offering our listeners $100 off your first six-session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com bald and use promo code bald at checkout. Go to mindbloom.com bald, promo code bald for $100 off your first six-session program today. That's mindbloom.com bald, promo code bald. I think, I don't know if this is actually real, but when RuPaul said he plays deer in Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> I hope that's real. I think it's real. Paul loves words though. Like I remember on What's the Tea, which is so old now. It's like it doesn't know, even exist crazy. anymore. You did what? Twelve episodes of it? Yeah, twelve episodes. I was like the um, Johnny Cars or the the Ed McMahon of it. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Or no, I think it's Conan, twice. the other guy who sits on the couch. Uh, the, uh, Andy Richter. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, when I saw Michelle last, I was I said, "Are you guys having to do What's the Tea again?" And she was like, "I don't know. We want to. We talk about it." And I said, "Well, because I was never a guest." <laughs> So I just think it's funny. It's fun. It's so fun. I I just think one time I did it and Michelle wasn't there and that was a hoot because Ru is just nuts. You know, she is. She loves RuPaul is, will be like, oh, how do you and what's that word? Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. And can you spell that? And you're like, the word is orange. <laughs> what are you talking she about? Does, she really does like get um, stuck on these elementary like vocabulary. For, she I think she maybe has a, like a linguistic learning uh, d- uh, she loves words something. and she she gets really wrapped up in like now where does that word come from yeah <laughs> say it say uh, it again and well, you're like it's a color my name's room. steve <laughs> yeah and was she the one that smoked the weed <laughs> I, think, I, never I get love tired of what that. little what little nuts about us she recalls oh yeah they're, they're fractured memories Oof. of a time time uh a of bygone of era crimes of the future and i don't think she was very clear on them during that time no 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 so the, so the the hazy mystery of it is is very is very is she the unclear one with them ears i'm sorry is she the one with the ears yeah was she the one that dragged her pussy on the stage left a stain on the floor yeah she, i don't even think she knows well here's the thing i don't know anything anymore about it Girl. i don't know i would lose in a drag trivia contest huh? i would lose I just saw something where I saw three that. drag queens in a cosmetics ad and I said, it's crazy. I said, they're beautiful, these girls. I said, I, it's great for them to get this gig. I mean, these unknown drag queens, they're gorgeous. Were they the and winners of a season? And then I went into the comments and it was like, oh, these are winners or like top queens yeah. from another. I said, oh, work. What? <laughs> work. <laughs> I yeah. honestly, I, well, I just, I haven't seen, a, I haven't seen an episode of Drag Race since I did Pit Stop last. So whenever that was, three years ago, two years ago. Do you wow, really? Girl, I ain't watching. Why do you hate drag so much? Why do you I'm hate gay people? I'm watching Breaking. Listen, yeah. I had to step away from Watchmen. I and think I brave consumed of you. everything there is to consume on the internet about that Watchmen. That's very brave of you. Because you know when I like something, I don't you, just like it. You like it until it I go hurts. deep. <laughs> yeah. I go. I stay up late. Mm. I think about it all the time. Yeah. You talk about it all the time. And I talk about it all the time. <laughs> so I had to move on. Okay. So now I'm watching Breaking Bad. Again. Well, this is my second time watching it in my yeah. life. First time was maybe 2014. Oh, it's the 2014. Okay. 2015. I mean, it's a fantastic show. It's it fantastic. is, but the emotional labor. Oh. My God. As soon as you start to think something, you're like, oh, these characters I yeah. care about, they're getting on the straight and narrow. Oh, God. Kristen Ritter 
it's heartbreaking that one that though the, the who supply is that? Kristen Ritter is the girlfriend of Jesse who would the owns Jessica the Jones. apartment yeah Jessica Jones so gorgeous so gorgeous heroin though mama heroin he lets her aspirate on her own vomit because she was gonna bribe him or she was gonna blackmail mm -hmm. him yeah yeah she's like um it's so fascinating I just watched the episodes where um now Skylar has the car wash and they're trying to launder the money. Mm. And he's like, here's seven hundred thousand dollars, and she's like, we own a car wash. Work? <laughs> Working at the car like, wash. She they said, might never get. She's rich. like, are you telling me by the end of the year you will have made seven million dollars? And she goes, we couldn't launder this with fifty car washes. Like, Jesus, Christ. that's. I'm not gonna Is say. People do that? Do people do that? I think people with launder jewelry money. stores and whatever. Oh, and they, they definitely do. But well, I think it's harder when it's good sold. Mm -hmm. Right. But if it's something like a nail salon. Hair salon services, right? You it's can't just, really track it. Right. Bars, I'm sure. Bars, yeah. Not Liquor our. Sales. Go to my bar. Our books are squeaky clean. Thank squeaky you. Squeaky clean, very on top. But I think I don't know much about money laundering. But I'll tell you this: I would do better than they did. <laughs> what do you mean? I know that they're supposed to. The, the, the whole point of that show is. Oh. There's no bad people. There's people making bad choices. That's what makes a bad person. Sure, sure, sure. Right. And so I'm watching it, going. That's not how you should have done that. Yeah. Amateurs. Go bury Amateurs. the money in a hole. Also. Well, how much money do you need? Cook the was, meth for three months and get out. See, that's the problem, though. It, that I think that's a real interesting question that is too difficult to answer. Well, obviously, he wanted to pay for what his treatment or something, and then he wanted to. He thought he was leave, going to die from stuff. terminal cancer within the year. Okay, so, so he, he wanted, wanted to leave, leave them his some stuff. newborn and his family. I'm not saying it's right, but I mean, there's a character he cooks meth with who's like, um, he's like. I'm a libertarian and I feel like people are going to get this drug on the street anyway. At least with me, I know they are buying exactly what they. Oh, absolutely. I think that's fantastic. Just get a pressed pill. Honey, I just honey, took a just pressed get pill, a but pressed I know what pill. it is. I go to Jesse. He gives me a pressed pill. I know what it is. Gives me a pressed pill. Five I took it every day. <laughs> and I just, I, the, the ethics of like, um, I don't know. It's. Well, they, there's these um, people in Canada who were buying drugs from the dark web, testing them and then redistributing them. Because there was like so many testing them. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there were so many um, fentanyl um, contaminations and like overdoses and stuff. So people were like dying from cocaine. Like a dying <laughs> from cocaine. Like a beauty review channel. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to the channel. So they were so, taking yeah. this pressed pill I got from <laughs> Senegal. Let's just hope there's no fentanyl in it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was like, uh, but so they were like selling. Here is absolutely one gram of cocaine. Mm -hmm. No cutting agents. You know what I mean? Right. So which is never uh, available on the black market. So it's yeah. it's a it's an interesting thing. I don't. I'm not saying I would ever do crime because I you know my biggest. I think you should do crime. Second act. I have nightmares. No, no, no. That I have accidentally yeah. reported income wrong and or I go to jail. Yeah, or put the wrong thing in the recycling bin. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I will never, I'm not a rule breaker, period. Yeah, yeah. That's good. But when I watch the show, I'm like, fools. You should have made your and little I, money and yeah. got out. Because yeah. what are you doing? But at a certain I point, know. I mean, that's the character, right? He, he does it for the power trip. Yeah. And I think when straight guys watch it, I think about straight guys a lot. I think that they're watching it. And they're, they're not watching it to see moral decay. No, they're jerking off to, I'm um, bald and dumpy. Yeah. What yeah. if I became what, powerful? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what if I became like a fully realized evil genius character? Yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? It's not going to happen for you. Oh, and it, it, it's just it, that, that's a very Bob the drag queen told me to watch that show, mm -hmm. and I remember I watched it for the first time, and it was like. It's so intense. Yes, it's, it's so it's intense. Not light. No, I watched that Better Call Saul right like in sequence, and then. Another crazy, oh, and then another show, um, fucking with the, what was his name? Walter, Brian Cranston with his son. Yeah, yeah. The, in New Orleans, he's a judge and it's a dark, horrible thing. I needed to watch like the wiggles after that. Yes, but it's almost like French literature or something where it's not good prevailing. It's like, here's this character mm -hmm. and we're going to watch their life get worse. Yeah. I love that shit. You do? I love it when it ends tragically, horribly with no good feelings. Have you seen Call Me By Your Name? I have seen the sex scenes. I watched it for the first time the other day because. Oh, no, well, I have seen it. I remember. At a certain point, I have to go. You can't just rewatch the Brady Bunch movie every day. You need to expand to new films. <laughs> yes. So there's so many good ones out I there. I had to put down my, my <laughs> what do you Baby watch, Blue, <laughs> which was Marsha Taylor. Or what's her name? Um, uh, Christine Taylor. Christine Taylor. Yeah. I had to put down my Baby Blue and step away. Okay. And I had to try a new movie. And I went to Netflix. Yeah. Award winning movies. Yeah. So I watched. Um. This movie called Call Me By Your Name. 
I had not seen it. Did you? What did you think about it? Tell me. Pedo. I mean, it's getting, getting pedo, pedo, right? The whole time I'm thinking, yeah. this is an underage actor playing an underage character. Is a bony bitch, that motherfucker. That's a bony bird boy. I mean, I, underage, had relationships with adult men that I don't consider looking back harmful to me. Mm-hmm. But I did feel conflicted and sort of like, this is a kid. I thought he should this have been younger. Kid. This is a kid. Well, he was, what, 17? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And maybe, I don't know. I, I don't want to say was like pedo, 30. But. I, well, it was definitely a May-December type of thing. Yeah. You know? maybe, a, maybe a April... <laughs> November. <laughs> yeah. Mm, but I thought it was like kind of too it's the mood piece. Very the sad. Piece, I yeah. expected I expected something. And then at the end when they he gets married to a girl and he just I I literally laughed at the end. You did. It's a long shot of staring at the fire crying while the credits come up. I laughed. <laughs> it was like yeah, this I mean, is it crazy. Was, it was kind of like too much of a just like a mood piece. And can I say if I'm going to watch something gay? I'm waiting for the nut. The nut and the peach. Not the nut, oh. but like it is a long film. Oh, I know. And I'm like, something gay gonna happen? Yeah. Something gay gonna happen? Oh, something gay almost happened. Nothing happened. Something gay gonna happen? And then when something gay did happen, I was like, oh, it's a kid. <laughs> a bird boy with a like, bony ass. Yeah. Like he, he's like 42 pounds soaking wet. I mean, he's, do you think he's attractive? Well, I don't think he's, he's not, not my type. Right, of course. But like, it, I, would I put him in a cosmetics ad Absolutely. tomorrow? Yes. But he's not my type sexually. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's the other Much reason I young. wasn't gagging for it is yeah it was um i don't know two straight little straight guys one a cannibal one a little bird boy going at it so crazy but one plays a cannibal now in a movie well no i mean he's just sent all those weird cannibal texts but the oh, other one right. plays a cannibal now see you meet army hammer cannibalism is in your future yeah it's we crazy. hate this person for dming cannibalism yeah then this person's gonna play a cannibal it's the vicious cycle circular. of Hollywood. The vicious cycle of Hollywood. Speaking of Hollywood, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I went Christmas shopping yesterday and I got you a present. Ooh. What'd you get? I got you some fragrance. Oh, okay. I didn't think you were actually going to tell me. <laughs> What's the point of a present? Well, you don't know which fragrance it is. It could be like shit, you know, a, a stay lauder or Avon or whatever. Pink Friday. <laughs> Pink sugar. I got you three discount bottles of pink sugar, extra large. Well, thank you. Yeah. I got you something really cool. Did you really? Yeah. You're one. Not, no, I think that? it's cool. It's not super expensive, okay, but good. I had it's like a one of a kind piece. Well, you're entering the bracket where I have to I have to inquire about what is your super expensive now. What is your super expensive? It's not about money. No, 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 no. Expensive isn't about money. Gift giving? No, 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 no. I'm just curious about, it wasn't super expensive. To me, it means like, oh, it was just like not over $100. Oh, this was, this is an original piece from Etsy. Well, one of a kind. I'm sure they make them on per order. Pre, yeah. Like when people order them, it was a few hundred dollars. Okay. Good. But it's not crazy. I was like, I don't know. You, well, last Christmas, you got me a pair of, sh- or maybe my birthday, you got me a pair of shoes that was like $300. What's money? What's money? What is it? What's just money numbers? among friends? Numbers on a paper. <laughs> um, where do you, are you doing anything for Christmas, girl? Mama, sweetie. I'm. I sit in here in this bed and I goon out to the thought of Christmas because I'm going to Palm Springs. Oh, that's right. Oh wait, I'm. Are we you're, going to, you're driving <laughs> me. Yeah, you're driving. I me. am. Um, I'm just making sure you remember. Yeah, you're just driving sure me. Just making sure you remember. You and I are going to Palm Springs. That's right. I don't want to say when, but if you're staying at the motel in December, you might see us by the pool doing a podcast. Yep, peeing in the pool. This might come out by then, but mm-hmm. uh, and then I'm staying with David's family, and David's family they know how to do Christmas. Mama, they're so the Jews know how to do. The Christmas. Jews know how to do yeah. Christmas because they're impartial. They well, see, they, they see it from the outside. They do Hanukkah, and I get that's fun. Yeah, and then when Christmas comes, it's it's like in America. We're obsessed with the tradition of Christmas, mm. so like, oh, put out that old disgusting rag doll. That was grandma's, so it means something. It's nasty. Whereas David's family's like, don't put that on the tree. It doesn't go with the colors. Yeah, it's yeah. They you see, know, they're not um, they're not swept up in that whole Jesus stations of the cross like um, you know Virgin no, Mary like, thing. Let's make it nice. It's yeah. like, it's like a Nordstrom it's window gorgeous. in your home. It's beautiful. I mean, these hotels in the UK in the Christmas time, fierce, gorgeous, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Christmas trees everywhere in the lobby. Chris, we need to bring Everywhere. Christmas mi- villages to America. Every city's had a Christmas village. Oh, I know. I don't think that they would do well in America. I think Americans would tear that shit down. I think it'd be a in LA, room. it wouldn't work. It'd, it'd be, be somebody bent room. over shitting. 
<laughs> Literally, <laughs> there would be um, IV drug use by the um, mulled wine, yeah. and then there'd be like, um, but the cotton candy, there'd be with people fucking, <laughs> fucking and sucking. It, it yeah. would be, it would be um, child trafficking by the fried dough. <laughs> it's like too much. Yeah, it'd be uh, Miss Wendy in a mini skirt uh, with a a. Of forty in her hand, work in the corner, yeah. being like, "Santa told me you were bad this year." Yeah, I'm gonna take that license plate and slap you in the face with it. <laughs> also, there's like the one Ferris wheel would be always broken. It just wouldn't be a mess. It'd be a mess. Um, I, you're gonna laugh what I got, David. Well, one of the things I got, David. What? I got him a year subscription to MasterClass. <laughs> You want to make more money? That's great. Suits. That's great. So he can choose any ma- he can choose any classes. Yeah, he'll have access to all of them. All of them. That's so, fantastic. Because he's into interiors and yeah. he's into drink making and there's all this stuff he likes. And, and spiritual like, enlightenment via RuPaul. So exactly. that's going to be coming handy. Yeah. I will say there's there's so many classes and some of them are really Suspicious. like well it'll be like uh, uh, home cooking with Ina Garden. It's like oh that makes sense. Yeah. And sometimes it's like. Millie Bobby Brown on transcendentalism, and you're like, yeah, or um, Chinese aphrodisiac cooking with Renee Zellweger. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's, okay, it's a little like um, yeah. a brow lift with carrot top. Hmm, it's like two thousand dollars, or I don't know how much they are, but it's, they're quite expensive. Yeah, I've inquired into the ones I think like David Lynch had one on directing or something, but it yeah. was I think it's two hundred and fifty dollars for the year. Oh, that's not bad. No, and I don't Masterclass, know. honey. David, if he wants something, he'll buy it for himself. So yeah. he's so hard to shop for. I know I'm the same way. Uh, because it's it's like <sighs> it's hard to shop for people like that. Yeah. They'll just they Wait, have they want something, they'll get it. Where do I get my fucking nephews? I mean I'm gonna check in with the, the parents, children? Paw Patrol, whatnot, everything like that. But Did yeah. you say Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol is that usually what the kids are into. You know is that Paw a show? Patrol? Yeah. Oh. It's where like it's, animals it's, are police. Is it bad if I thought that was like a party at the Eagle? <laughs> Well, it sounds Go like a Paw Patrol. Take a breath pill at Paw Patrol, honey. <laughs> Summer Tramp Paw Patrol. Yeah. I, I don't know what to get the little kids, but I want to get them something like memorable, wonderful, dazzling. Well, I mean, you could get them something that's like not in memoriam. They're not dead, but and, like whatever the version of that is where you like make a donation in their name or to start, hurricane relief. Do you have, have you started like a, a oh, college yeah. fund for them? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a little dirt. We got a. Uh, hole in the, in the ground make shoveling a, money into make a it. fat little so get them a little toy or something mm-hmm. and then make a fat little deposit that's, into okay. that that's what I've been doing they don't need to- toys children I feel like it's I'm right they get thrown away whatever and also I feel like by the time it gets there they'll probably lose interest in it you Absolutely. know what I mean yeah it's just cr- more ch- junk in the junkyard from the changing leaves to pumpkin spice everything life is feeling pretty cozy If your old bra can't keep up with it, well, it's time to get a new one that can. And who's got the solution? It's Tommy John. In Tommy John bras and bralettes, you're that much more comfortable so you can do everything better. Every Tommy John bra and bralette has the perfect combination of comfort and support with cross convertible straps, wireless cups for comfort, and cool cotton for ultra breathability. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. No, no, no. They have fanatics who give rave reviews like, this bra is so comfortable that you can sleep in it. I loved it so much, I bought three more. And if you want the men in your life to feel comfy and look great too, pick them up a new pair of Tommy John's men's underwear. You will not regret it. Listen, I'm always on the hunt for a better bra. And listen, that hunt is now over. I love my Tommy John bra. It makes me feel so supported and lovely and comfortable during the shows. And they're so easily washed and they're so wonderful. Oh, you should get one too. Everything's backed by Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or it's free guarantee. Go to tommyjohn.com slash bald right now for 20% off your first order. 20% off at tommyjohn.com slash bald. tommyjohn.com slash bald. See site for details. Shop through Rakuten for everyone this holiday season. Earn cash back for everything on your gift list, like clothing, shoes for the fashionista, toys and games for the little ones, electronics for the tech connoisseur, kitchen and home essentials for the ultimate host or hostess in your life, or just something for yourself. You are already shopping, so why not get some cash back? Rakuten is the smartest and most rewarding way to shop and save. You can earn cash back at over 3,500 stores. Membership is free and it's easy to sign up. Rakuten deposits your cash back directly into your PayPal account, or they can send you a check. It's a no-brainer. You can earn cash back from what you already are shopping for. 
Rakuten also finds you the best deals, sales, and coupons. They do the work of searching for codes so you can save time and money. Rakuten pays you to shop. It's not too good to be true. Something I love about it is that I love holiday shopping and I'm not gonna lie, if I'm gonna get something for someone, I wanna know the best possible price. And I can tell you personally from a holiday shopper that the deeper you look, the more you're like, wow, there's always a different version of that final price somewhere else. Start all of your shopping at Rakuten. Your cash back adds up. Rakuten has 15 million members who are already saving. Get the free Rakuten app and download the free browser extension. It's a no-brainer. You're already going to be shopping for your loved ones. You might as well do it right and save a little money. Visit Rakuten.com or download the app to earn cash back when you shop at thousands of stores. You can start saving today. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I got to tell you, unfortunately, life does not come with a user manual. Whether you are a cross-dresser like me or a person with dignity or um, anybody, a parent, a friend, somebody with a stressful job, somebody with a difficult family dynamic, There is no user manual for any type of personhood, and it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's career changes, new relationships, you know, a step parent. I know from personal experience that can be stressful. Therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills, which makes therapy the closest thing to a guided tour of the complex engine called you. Or in my case, for me, it's identifying my unhelpful coping skills. That's really helpful for me. And I know these things because of talking, okay? Being able to talk to my partner, my mom. It's crazy. The older I get, the more I open up to my family or professionals because I'm looking for the cleanest point A to point B help with my problems. And talk therapy is that for me. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed embedded therapists available 100% online. Plus it's affordable. No waiting rooms, no traffic. No endless searching for the right therapist. I mean, there's even a certain amount of shame and stigma in seeking help and eliminating anything in person is just, it's a little bit of a safety bubble to get your foot in the door. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Can I ask, yeah. are you having um, separation anxiety from your new home? Are you, are you, does a bear shit in the woods? Is the Pope Catholic? Absolutely. Yes, and I want to show you. So your desire to be home has only compounded now when that I you res- own it. Right. And not only that, but there are people actively making it better, which right. is great. So, I mean, I, actually, it's a good thing that I'm not there because it's so noisy. But um, I just I think about lemons all the time. I think about how they feel in my hand. I think about going out onto the porch and grabbing a lemon from the tree and sniffing it. It's too bad you don't drink alcohol. And I don't say that to a lot of my sober friends, but... There's nothing like oh fresh mi- Meyer lemon in a fucking cocktail. When you have somebody come over and you go, do you want a drink? Do you want a lime or a lemon? Yeah. Boop. Yeah. It feels fresh. So lime. cunty. Your, yeah, I know. It, it is feels so cunty. Because you know cunty. what people did before Gelson's? They, they grew food. They grew food in their yeah, in their backyard. It was called a corn maze, but originally it was a maze maze. Because corn is called maze. <laughs> Those original corn maze was a maze maze, honey. Oh, you. Oh, you. Christmas. Christmas. Do you have holiday ham on Christmas? No, of course you don't. You're a vegetarian. My no, God. I go down to the silver. Go, <sighs> go down to the silvers. What are they making David's for you? Sis- what are they, they cooking David's up? mom makes sugar creeks from scratch, rolled out, shapes cut out, everything. Fuck it up. They make cr- Christmas breakfast, everything. David's sister will have a signature cocktail. That she'll cocktail. have picked out for that Christmas. Oh that wow, year. that's fierce! And she plays bartender and whatever you want, like she makes eggnog it. martinis or whatever. Yeah. And because I'm the Amazing. guest, all I do is like oh. wash the morning dishes and take out the trash, that's and then so sit fierce. around. That's so fierce. Well, they they should like. I imagine they circle around you because you're a Christian. Well, they, <laughs> no. Usually, they I have to pay them back. I have to play guitar for them at some point. Okay. There's like an unwritten yeah. rule. Hava nagila hava. Yeah. Nagila hava. Yeah. Um. Mm. My other question to you is, oh my God, I just forgot what I was going to say. I saw the, go- the the glass onion. It's the glass onion. Have you seen Knives Out? You know, yeah. Knives Out. It's a sequel to that. Oh, did you love it? I liked it. I thought it was entertaining, but I think like most movies these days, it was 20 minutes too long. Mary Dugan, we are connected to a yeah. cinemaplex. I know, The View. A cinema movieplex. Yeah. The, the movies are back and they're right over there. Well, I took yeah. some pictures of the Showtimes today and I wonder if you could advise me on what I should see. Okay. So the options are this film called Pray for the Devil. Okay, that looks like a fun home movie. Okay, it starts in 10 minutes. I'm probably not going to make it. No, 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 no. The the Menu. Love it. Go see it. Run, don't walk. 
run, don't walk to see the menu. Run, don't walk to see the menu. Loved it. It was actually one of the movies that I've loved. I loved it from start to finish, and I haven't felt that way in a long time. Well, if we're talking about men in cinema that are not that I'm not attracted to because uh-huh. Ray this has nothing to do with pedophilia because yeah. this is an adult man. Mm-hmm. The man in this from X-Men First Class, the gentleman in the menu, what's his name? Ray Fiennes? Is that his name? The the chef? No, that person. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh, Nicholas Holt. So hot. I love him. So you, hot. You won't love him in this movie. Well, I shouldn't give anything away. Was it, no, 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 no. Is it Big Fat Cock? He's so cute. He's yeah. so handsome. Yeah, he's so he's hot. so, so handsome. Um, but menu five stars, five in, stars. In X Men, he plays you know Beast Hank yeah. McCoy, and it's I like hate that character. It's so stupid. No, I love it. I'm really a Beast, blue. but I want to look normal, and I want I want to fall in love with him and be like, no, I want you to. I, mean, that I big, want you to get on top of me with that giant blue dick and blow my head. eyeballs out of my skull. Put that, that dick f- so far from me that my eyes shoot out of my head. I want to. I want to be like the coroner needs to be like uh, vacuuming out blue hair from my inside of my body totally. for weeks. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by that I mean I want you to slip one pinky in and me to go. Oh, stop! You're going. Stop! Ow! <laughs> Ow! What about how him and Mystique? Why didn't they get to get the other? Both blue. Shit. Blue babies. Could you imagine? Yeah, of course. Blue. <sighs> Wait, don't they use her blood to make it so that he can look normal? Isn't that the whole thing? I don't know. I forget. X Men, whatever. I've only seen those films once. Yeah, they're not that great. Well, I watched another movie that was fine and not that Which great. Which one? It was. It was great. Which one? It wasn't great. <laughs> it was called The Wonder. Oh, Victorian Starving Girls. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh. Listen, friend of the pod. Friend? Of, no. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I would was watch like, her give herself a pedicure. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But, oh yeah, she's um, so talented. But every movie she's in, they go, all right, then we're going to have this long scene of you walking away from people toward the camera, trying to hold it and crying. Yeah. So you're going to have a long shot of you going, uh, uh. yeah, and I yeah. love that. Yeah. I mean, emotions, they're great. I want to watch a movie, cry myself, mm-hmm. pretend that I'm in it. God, I cried while I ate the other day with food. That was really special. I haven't done that in a while. I'm Which hole were you putting it in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was shoving it through the back hole. No, I was eating um soup and um spicy soup, and then I was start crying. It's chic. Did you <laughs> did you look at our Spotify um podcast rap by the way for the Ooh, year? People have been listening to it in a very how shall I say unhealthy manner. <laughs> Don't we you are, think? The, we're, we're actually the, some people's the, number ones. We're in the top one percent of subscribed to podcasts. Wait, wait, what? Yes. No. Hold on. How do we? And we do are that? the top under. We are in the top one percent shared podcasts, what? which means people share our episodes a lot. We don't deserve it. Isn't that great? Thank you everybody for listening Thank to our so show. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to us. Shit. We, we put out fifteen hundred minutes of content on this pod this year. I think. Wow. Fifteen hundred what? <laughs> fifteen hundred minutes of pod. Oh really? Is what we put out? I believe. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Fifty. It just seems like flash. It's also, crazy. seems like it goes on forever. Either means there's a lot of pods. Which is probably Wait, also true. So, everybody has a podcast. Everybody has a podcast. So thank you for listening to ours. I know you have uh, only so many hours in the day and your commute is only so long and you choose to use us and that's great. I think most people do listen to it on the commute. Don't you think? Yes. I think the LA is like literally keeping podcasts afloat because of the long commutes. Have you, Two hours to work. Have, have you furnished everything in your house? I meant to talk to you about this. Yes. I only need stools for the kitchen counter and I need some outdoor furniture because we're getting rid of all that. And then some wallpaper. That's it. And some like, you know, things as like you go, I didn't want to go crazy right away because I wasn't able to fully transition it into witch hut because it was a 1960s kind of modernist house. You can still go kind of dark sided. Yeah. Kind of dark sided is the key though. I don't want to go like full on. Like, why is there a witch living in this house? Totally. It's not in the woods. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. It's great though. It's like, I could look at wallpaper all day long. What do you want? Don't get bored. What kind of wallpaper do you I like? Want something geometric, but fun, but like, but kind of like moody. But tight geometric or big? I want something bigger. I had stripes. It was a little beetle juicy. The wallpaper guru. Oh, vertical stripes. Mm-hmm. That seems a little crazy. I it, I liked it. It was you only did. on one wall, but mm. the wallpaper guru installed it and it came off the next day. Mama, guru of what? That's what I'm trying to say. Like I think it was like guru by guru, RuPaul. Um, yeah, like I don't think he knew what that word meant. Poo-poo. Guru, yeah, Guru is like the wallpaper. To be good poo-poo. at it, yeah. It was so bad, and it took forever. Well, anyway, it's hard. We had Wall Shop do all of our wallpaper, at Trixie Cosmetics. Yeah, and it's perfect. Has never. Can they moved. do mine? 
Is it yeah, very expensive? Reach out to so them. expensive. They have so many. Fuck. No, I they know. Have so they have so many. So many wallpapers. It's just crazy. Um, there's just one I want for my office in the new house. The there's this. Is it a mural? No, it's a Gucci wallpaper, but it's so fancy and cool. It has like lion heads on it and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that one. I've seen that it's, one. It's like don't it's, buy don't buy a designer because I know you're buying, you know. But if so it's much. a small wall like this size, oh sure, yeah, absolutely. Just it's a small wall. wall. Yeah, go for it. Just one. Wall. I think I'm gonna have some local kids come over and do a, a, a mural in a acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best scenario. Hand painting. Yeah, I'll hold them by the legs and they go. Boop, boop, boop. Do you like in home murals? I mean, I've just like. You know, Botticelli or Da Vinci or something, yeah. But I don't think like a you wouldn't have somebody come in and paint something. I don't think so, unless they were a very talented classical artist. Okay, you know, they take deceptively long. When we did them at the motel, they took one of them took fifteen about, hours for three or four of us. It's to a do giant it. painting. It's 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 a giant painting. But you look at it and you go, oh, it's just shapes. No, Mary. But when we did that uh, no. flamingo wall on Trixie Motel, it was like. The pressure's it's there forever. No it's, mistakes. It's cute and all until 40 minutes in when you're sick yeah. of it and you're like, yeah. we're not even scratching yeah, yeah. the surface. It's horrible. Time. Plus you have killer. to either freehand it or project it to trace it. Oh, that's smart. You didn't do that? No, we did project oh, it. We did, okay. But then just even penciling it is a whole process. Yeah. Then you turn the lights off and turn on and you go, and then you have to mark what all the colors are going to be so you don't paint things the wrong color. Oh my God. Oh, right. It's because you make mistakes like that over so long. Yeah. Honestly, this, the new house, I was like, I'm going to have to hate something a lot because the motel took it out of me. Renovation style. Oh, I see. I see. So the new house, I'm like, it's so pretty. The new house. We have some, I'm going to change, change some fixtures, anything. but I'm like, that, it, those stairs. I can't, I can't change anything. Sumptuous mahogany woodwork. I know. I love those stairs so much. I'm going to fall down those stairs and die. You are. Yeah. Like, just like, um, what's her name from Dolores Claiborne. What about a lovely portrait? Could we get you in like a linen Ebenezer Scrooge pajama outfit and then a holiday photo shoot? And then I can be Jacob Marley. Wait, wait, for what? Just life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had the giant fat lady with her pussy out framed. So she's going to be prominently featured. I was like, oh, this might be too much. She's huge. She's six feet by something. And um. And you made that out of your own volition in college or what? Yeah, in college for drawing class. And um. Did, and they it, required you to make a giant one? No, no, no. I was just like feeling extra. And the teacher loved it. He was, his name was, he was an English guy. He was kind of whatever. He I loved it. it. I Nobody love the giant pussy. Liked it. The students were like, you are weird. Wait, when we you presented like that, you presented yeah. that in college and you had to talk yeah. about your process. Yeah. I was just like, oh, you know, I created this character. Her name is Cherry and here she is. She's got a, she's got a lot going on downstairs. Sorry about that. And it's a bunch of straight people and stuff and they're like art. What is it? Art one one school. No, it's drawing. It was like drawing. Oh, so it was majors. No, it was like art elective. It was an art elective. So you're at an art elective what? unveiling your rot what? pussy <laughs> manifesto. I thought it would at least be like, if funny or not if not funny then like wow school's so boring can you describe what it is i don't think everyone knows um so it's basically just like a cartoonish oil pastel drawing of a very large woman uh who's squatting with her knees open you see, see her whole labia and there's a lot of warts it's, and and bumps and stuff like going on it's like decay it's gray it's gray lips and then some sores and stuff and she's also holding her breasts you know and she's got brown teeth. I'm and just obsessed <laughs> with this being an elective and people are just like, I'm just trying to get through midterms. And you're like, anyway, here's this. <laughs> I really wanted to just unroll it. That's the fun part. You just, you know what I mean? It's dramatic because yeah. it's in a roll. Giant art is hard to come by. No fucking shit. And also art in a, like art in a home is tough because what do you go to go to, go to the art store? You're going to go down to the Craigslist. art store and get your art or whatever. So I have to like know the person or whatever. It has to be some kind of like, I don't know. Craigslist? Yeah. There's an art section on Craigslist where people are just getting rid of <sighs> paintings or sculptures from all different eras. And then you got to get a car and go pick it up though. Well, that I got. That's right. That got. Yeah. I'm going to get an got. Uber to take me to what? Like Sierra no, Bonita to pick up a giant pussy painting. One day you come down, um, you call me up. I'll come over to your house on the car, pick you up. I'll take you to the convenience store. You can buy a candy bar. I'll drop you home. That's going to be huge for me. <laughs> This it's is gonna, gonna be, huge, be for huge for me. I think this is a big, big, solid move in the right direction for both of us. Do you know Kelly Mantle went bowling last night? I did. Yeah, with Jason. Yeah. Do you think Kelly's good at bowling? I think that she she was. I think she won around last night, right? Didn't she win? You think yeah. she's bad at bowling? She was terrible. <laughs> oh, you were there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she ate. She served. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Well, she's not much of an actress. <laughs> that, by the way, so 
getting tired with material of the show, uh, ground to a halt the other night when you sneezed, and then you're like, sorry, I'm allergic to bad acting. <laughs> that was so funny. It was that in the was middle of so Kelly's so funny, little, so funny. Not a monologue, like two paragraphs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sneezed in the middle, and I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> I was looking for something when it feels something Orville Peck called me and was like are you at the point in the tour where you're like purposely making changes to keep it fresh I said at this point <laughs> I think we're actively skating around the material yeah 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 we're avoiding it or making we're, fun of it making or, fun of it avoiding yeah. it yeah. Um, hurting each other <laughs> hurting personally yeah. Sandy yeah I, that last show in fucking um, North Carolina is gonna be real boo boo real boo boo so if you have tickets, you're going to love it. Sorry. Oh, by boo-boo, I mean wonderful. I'm just looking forward to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Well, who isn't? Clearwater, Florida would like a word as well. We're doing all the major cities. Mama. Oshkosh, Clearwater, Clearwater. Um, Indianapolis, um, Miami, well, Miami. The juggernauts. Low ticket sales. Um, Why? Then, um, but Miami's never a good market for us. What? Never. Why is that? I don't know. Too many hot, sizzling, Gloria Estefan fans there. But the gays don't live in Miami, do they? Yeah, they sure do. They do. Yeah. Well, why don't they care about gay men? Don't like us anymore. Well, I went to a club in Miami, like in November. Love and, it out. Yeah, and um, no, 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 just a gay club. The oh. Twist, lovely club. Went in there, nobody wanted to have anything to do with me. It was fierce. I thought I'd be like, oh, you know, I don't want to take pictures. Nobody wanted to take pictures. They don't like drag. I don't know. Didn't like me, maybe. Um, but. Brandon and I went to a club in Orlando once that was formerly known as the Parliament House. and <gasps> The Parliament House. I love that. I, I do, too. I did a party there once. You did, too, right? Mm -hmm. Every yeah. year. Three nine, yeah. And oh, the humidity, though. And yeah, that's that, rotten. Well, that, Miami. That same cracky thing. motel. Love you, Parliament yeah. House. Yeah. But <laughs> R.I.P. She's you know. gone anyways. Right? Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, not good. But <laughs> she, you know, she's not offended. But we were there once on like a weeknight, and there was a woman performing. It was a woman doing drag. Uh -huh. Naked. Uh -huh. No shoes on, okay. boobs out, pussy, pussy out. out. No shoes on. Where's the drag? Maybe a dozen people there. Is the and drag in the hair, the wig, or I guess it was just the, the essence. Attitude. It was the attitude, <laughs> and the bartender gave us money to go give her because oh. there was there was no yeah. transaction being. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of like if it's a store and everyone's just looking and no one's purchasing. It's tough. It's so gonna break the no, seal and there's just to like yeah. The bartender's like, go give her money. I'm like, I fucking will. <laughs> Pity tips. Yeah. Pity tips. That's yeah, tough. No, Christmas. naked, just naked woman. You sure she was I'm, a drag queen? She didn't wander off the street? No, it was a naked woman. Really? It was a naked <laughs> woman. It was a naked woman with maybe earrings were the drag, like oh like chunky earrings. It never was the blush. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. A oh bottom lash and some earrings oh, and man. complete nudity. Oh, that's Christmas. That's the magic of Christmas. Did you see Fina was on uh, Delta's podcast? No, no, oh God, what did they get into? I can't wait to listen to it. The, the two, I can't wait to see what these two people talk about when they Mary, get together. The surly and irascible um, weather patterns have like found each other. The number of ice cubes, everything. <laughs> yeah. Every, nobody's safe. The attitude of the uh, clerk at the drive through. Ooh. Um, well, the clip was Delta being like, you know, if all drag is valid, when you say like your drag is old school, she's like, well, yeah, it is. But what's wrong with that? Uh -huh. She's like, what's wrong with wanting to wear like nice hair and jewelry and perfume yeah. and put nails on? Yeah. And she's right. Yeah. And she should say it. Absolutely. All drag is, I mean, why, why do we have to say valid? Valid. What is valid? It's like, it's like I'm a professional. Well, you somebody paid a dollar for your services. Yes, that makes you a professional. Yeah. You work professionally if you sell your services for money. Your Halloween costume is valid. Doesn't Absolutely. Mean it's good. Your pants, your shitty chinos from the, the dollar store are valid. You know, your your neck brace is valid. Everybody loves your brown hair. But so it's like, who gets into drag for validation? I started I drag know. so other drag. Get validation, were... just go to a parking structure and get a <laughs> ticket. Yeah, yeah or do like take some adult karate where there's there's like here's your belt. Take adult karate. You know, here's yeah. your belt. You get yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a series of colorful val validations, validations. That, that add up to something very huge. What's belt. the validation in drag? A drink ticket? Well, it's like you know, it's, do they do they really mean my va my drag is good? Because that's off the table. And it's subjective, of course. And speaking of which. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is a little bonus holiday episode. You know, yeah. not to overpromise, but when we finish touring in the spring, we look forward to going back to one episode a week. I think we can say that. But yeah. And totally. without teasing too much, we now have a place we will be consistently recording in. Yes. With consistent camera work, yeah. visuals, 
of the same set every week. Yeah. It's basically going to be like a television show now. It's incredible. And there was a CBS Studios was so nice to give us all of their lots access to every lot they have. That was and huge. It was huge. Yeah. And also, well, I know we're, and we're on the, on the, we're on the Paramount lot. Our studio is actually in the tower, the water tower. It's a lot of pressure, but I think we can um, rise to the challenge. The streamies are Sunday. Oh my God. Well, what? We if can't we don't go. Get, if we don't get that editing award, I know we should. I'm gonna have to kill Bob Streamy. Yeah, I'll have I'm gonna to have kill to strangle with a piano wire. I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I think we should at least win. I mean, we got best unscripted before. Okay, that was great. I felt like that was the consolation prize, but that was just me. This is our third best show editing. nomination. Editing, Mary. We need to get editing. Yeah. Don't you think? Come yes, on. of course. But we've like, also had best show three times. This is our third nomination. Well, I'm. Th I just think that the real crime is the editing. Editing should be um, acknowledged. It's so fierce, and also in this YouTube world, it really paved the way for um, it, and inspired other people who have I become know. successful in YouTube. Not to say that they've ripped us off, but like it was no, no, really no, no, created no. something. Um, it, 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 yeah, it's a it's a moment. It's a thing. I never feel like our show. I mean, maybe the editors feel different, but I think when our editors notice their style being emulated, I don't think they're ever offended. No. It means you have an impact. It means people yeah. appreciate what you do. Imitation is the the highest form of flattery. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so Merry Christmas, everybody, and I hope Merry you have a Christmas. really happy holiday. Bye, Wigs. Bye.